This is one of those videos that would be incredibly easy to make incredibly boring, but it's exciting to me because as a tool and fastener snob and carpenter, this is the kind of thing that fires me up on my job sites and in my projects. My name's Mark, by the way. I'm host of the My Fix It Up Life show and a licensed contractor. And it's this kind of thing right here, the SPAC's power lag that's going to change my job sites. It's not that you can't use other hardware, branded or unbranded. It's not that there aren't code approvals for those things. There are, but those are family sedans. This is a Formula One fastener. And I'm gonna show you where it can be used where we typically use a structural screw or a lag, and in some applications you might not be thinking of. So obviously first one is the ledger board. Hugely important connection in any deck. The SPAX power lag doesn't just hold it, it holds it tighter than other fasteners, including half inch galvanized lags that some code jurisdictions, they want it because they want it. Well. If your code jurisdiction wants that and you need a half inch lag, SPAX has it, quarter inch to half inch, made here in the USA too. So you can meet that and when you get into these different and evolving connections in deck assembly and construction, you can refer to engineering data, load values, and you can hand that off to your inspector and say, yes, I am allowed to do this based on this science. So here in a post to beam or girder connection normally would be bolted. I can't tell you how many ship auger bits I've dinged drilling into nails doing this. You can use a SPAX power lag and draw this connection so tight that the failure point is the wood itself. The wood fiber is going to be destroyed before this connection fails. That's what you're looking for. The other thing is you can get this all in place, whether you nail it or clamp it or have somebody hold it up and you can bomb these things on site right there and you don't have to wait and come back and drill and this and that. Same thing over here with the moving target of the guard post, which requires the 200 pounds of lateral force to be resisted. Now, in this case, to use a power lag, and I build my decks like this anyway, I do a housed post, I just think it looks nicer. You add some blocking, and you can power lag that. No pilot holes, none of this with the bolts and the ratchets and this and that. Zip, you're in, this is locked, you're done. Plumb in all directions. So when we build on our job sites, it's about doing it better and doing it faster. SPAX power lags help make that happen. Here are the three biggest takeaways from the SPAX ICC evaluation report. First, SPAX head pull through and pull out values are the best in the industry. Second, unlike other structural wood to wood fasteners, SPAX power lags have test values for many wood densities to cover regional wood species used. And third, SPAX power lags offer the widest selection of dimensional sizes of code recognized fasteners available. Compare their performance and price and you'll find yourself wondering, why am I using other fasteners? If I've achieved my goal of making a boring video, you've already been watching a cat video for five minutes. If, however, <laughs> I've interested you in saving not just the minute, but the minute every hour, five days a week for the rest of your career, then thank you for hanging out. If you want to know more about me or what we do, that's myfixituplife.com. For more about SPACs and power lags and other fasteners, SPACs.us. You can get them in leading national home improvement centers wherever you live. You know what I'm talking about. Thanks for hanging out and good luck with your projects.